last week Giuliano gave me this here. It's a uh, leather pouch, and I said yeah, you can put whatever you want in it. I decided to uh, make this into my primitive fire kit. I got some things in here which might be uh, a little unique. I'll show you what these look like. First of all is my socket made by Marty of Southern Survivor. Great piece of kit there. Uh, let's see, two cans. One is filled with true tinder fungus, which was given to me my friend Terry back in the States. And this here is a can of char cloth. Of course my steel striker. This is a piece of iron pyrite or fool's gold. And this stuff, if you use the rough edge of the uh, the file, you get all kinds of sparks. Let's try this in the shadow here. Pyrite is a really good sparker and it is, gives kind of a sulfury smell, but that is a great piece of kit right there. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, this is this is probably something you've never seen in a primitive fire kit before. Uh, wrapped up in this piece of suede is literally a crystal ball. This is a ball of uh, pure quartz crystal which has been polished into a sphere and uh, we know from the ice fire video that a sphere will cast, will actually focus a beam. A sphere is a very short focal length, maybe about half a centimeter, but it is a very hot beam. Um, basically this thing can light a fire just sitting on the ground so you have to be very careful with it. Of course if you drop it, it will shatter. Um, it has a few chips in it or a few cracks that run through it so if you just hold those to the side if we get our sun back here in a minute we're going to use this to light our fire for lunch uh, this will light on light char cloth, it will light tinder fungus anything you can light with a lens you can light with a crystal sphere I bought this in the town of Oto Preto, it cost me a few dollars uh, but they're, they're not expensive here in central Brazil I just thought it was a unique way to make a fire uh, seeing as this is produced locally I figured I'd include one in my kit and I keep that in a little piece of leather wrapped up and tied tight to cushion it and that sits in the bottom of the bag against a ball of jute twine that's been fluffed up and this has uh, pineda which is a natural fiber which grows on a tree here in, in July uh, this stuff litters the ground underneath the trees uh, a pineda tree it looks like snow and I every year I collect a big bag of it for use with primitive fire making but this is an excellent coal extender so as soon as we get our sun back here, we're going to light up our lunch fire. Okay, Dan, here you go. Okay, let's get rid of the fire lay. have fire from crystal ball. Really cool. It worked well.